Hey guys! It's been a while. Um, so I went to Octfest, my mom came the weekend after that, and then my dad came last weekend. So a lot's been going on, and that is why videos have not been a thing in my life recently. So, um, last night at like, uh, eight-ish, um, sorry, I cannot actually see right now, this light is blinding. Um, at eight, the fire alarm went off. I just got back from practice, and I was like, oh, cool dropped everything and just like kicked off my shoes because there was like a quarter inch of mud just caked on to them so I wasn't about to like put them back on when the fire alarm went off so I was running around without shoes on um so I went downstairs went outside and we're just chilling for like 20 minutes I'm like I don't have any shoes on like thinking I'm a cool kid it was a bad idea because little did I know stuff actually happened so six and a half hours later I got back in my room yeah, this was at 8 p.m. I got back in my room about 2 a.m. And then I showered, so I didn't go to sleep till like 4. It was awesome. Oh, and that was, like, cleaning up the mud from my shoes. It was awesome. Okay, so basically what happened was, uh, somebody in the floor directly above us was doing something they probably should not have done. There's, there's another video, actually. Um, annotation! Okay. Um, yeah, there's a video on YouTube about, like, some dude walking out of the shower just, like, had his phone with him to magically, spontaneously catch this event on camera. I, it's, it's a little bit fishy that he just happened to have his phone while he was in the shower and he caught it on film. Like, that seems weird to me, like, was it truly an accident? I don't know, but anyway, so stuff happened with the sprinkler, and so basically, one sprinkler in the entire building went off in the floor directly above us and um like 50 gallons of water apparently came out uh every minute so it was going off maybe for like three hours i don't really know i don't know what went down all i know is that i was not allowed in my room or in this half of the building so there's this is the, nor the north tower that way is the south tower and the South Tower was totally fine because, you know, they didn't have flooding or anything going on because it was just one sprinkler. So, it was, I'm like, eh, whatever, you know. But meanwhile, I'm like sweaty and muddy because of practice and so I'm like, I was just about to get in the shower. And thank God I was too busy cleaning my shoes when the fire alarm went off because I would have been so unbelievably upset. If I was like, huh, great, I have to get out of the shower, and just, oh, it'd been terrible. So I stayed in my friend Brandon's room for a little bit with my friend Jasmine, and we watched Transformers, and I was like, I don't care about Megan Fox, and just kind of like started to fall asleep. And right when I started to fall asleep, it was like 1 a.m., my roommate goes, we're allowed back in our room now. I'm like, what, really? Where are you? And she's like, oh, I'm chilling with the guys across from us, like, um, they live across the the stairwell on that side and so I'm like okay I'll be up but we'll go check it out so me and Brandon and Jasmine all left the room because of me I'm like let's go find out what's going on so I run around the building meanwhile I'm still barefoot uh, don't forget this it's disgusting like my feet were like <laughs> blacker than black if you can imagine that like like my toes and like my heel the part of my feet that actually touches the ground were no like just a really weird color that you would not associate with skin or anything that should be on or near skin and so brandon's like here's some wet wipes fix this and so i literally took my finger and went down the middle of my foot looked at the wet wipe and looked at my foot and it was like like when, i don't know if you ever had that moment where you look at someone or something and you like make a line and it's like the the part that's clean is just a shiny white beacon of awesomeness that's what my foot looked like afterwards so i, I fixed that it's kind of a gross story sorry so uh then we went and ran around i spent like we came up i was okay to get on my floor at one and brandon's like okay i'm gonna go to sleep now i'm like yeah thanks for uh letting me chill in your room and whatever and we chilled with the guys across the hall and they're really nice like, maybe I'm stupid and think everybody's really nice before I actually get to know them, but, um, that's just who I am. So, uh, I have this problem a lot, actually. 
Um, <laughs> but no, they're really nice. They're like, do you want anything? Do you need any water, food? What's up? So I didn't eat dinner because my ID was in my room and you need that to get food. And Brandon gave me chips though and uh, some some pretzels and stuff. Sorry, this bed is not, it's not a good place to make videos. Um, but anyway, so I don't know why I was really excited about that. There's not really a point to this story. I'm just telling you because it's interesting and it's not like <laughs> the building flooded. Oh, the best part though, when we were, the, it, it was actually not the best part. It's, it's the best part for me and the worst part for everyone else. So when we were right about to get back onto this side of my floor, so the guy's side is over there and we were walking across like the little uh, staircase or stairwell or whatever. They're like, okay, everybody can go back in their rooms, yay! So all the girls, there's like 12 of us that are on this side, maybe? I don't know. There's there's a few of us. So we're all like, woo, yay, you know, super cool for us. And the people above us in the stairwell go, hey, shut up! And then we all go, no, you shut up! And then we see people just carrying bags of garbage. Like, not garbage, like just garbage bags filled with clothing and laptops and, and TVs and people are crying and everything got destroyed. So they're carrying them in garbage bags downstairs to throw them out. And we are all cheering and we're like, hey, no, you shut up. And their stuff is just garbage. Yeah. It, 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 that's what happens when 50 gallons of water falls on a laptop. You have to throw it out. There's... I don't... I'm not... I don't know what you would do about that. Like, I... If that happened to my laptop... I wouldn't even know. Like, I would... I... I don't even know. So... There was a puddle of water. Like, outside of our door. So they were like, we have to clean this up, so uh, don't touch anything and go in the other room that's around the corner. So we were chilling in our other friend's room. And, um... <laughs> It, like, the whole building smells like that weird, awkward, wet dog smell, only, like, right after it's, the dog has gotten a bath, but before it's dried off. So it's like that wet dog mixed with awkward shampoo smell. Like, the entire building smells like- well, okay, the North Tower. The entire North Tower smells like that. This is a long video. I'm gonna wrap it up. Um, <laughs> but then the girl, the door- the room right next to us, uh, the water actually got into her room. Uh, ruined a couple of towels and a couple of clothes, like, her bag of laundry, and, uh, like, she was crying on the phone to someone, probably her mom, but, um, I was like, can I, like, I wanted to go in there and be like, hey, can I help you? Can, do you need anything? Like, what can I do for you? But, like, on all seriousness, what can I do? Like, her clothes just got destroyed, like, because apparently there's oil mixed in with the, that doesn't make sense, because oil and water don't mix. Anyway, there's crap for, you know, like, different types of fires, and not just, not just one kind of fire, there's, like, the ABC fire extinguisher crap, yeah, that all comes out of that little guy right there, so, uh, it, uh, doesn't just wash out, apparently, I don't know, I've never taken a fire extinguisher or water from a sprinkler and decided to s spray it on stuff, I don't know, but the entire floor reeks and it won't wash out, so, uh, Febreze and Lysol have become our new best friends. And, um, like, she, I don't know, I felt bad for her, and then the people farther down, like, in the end room, I'm, like, pointing out the window, because I can see the end room, however, the camera is not facing that way, so I'm just gonna make awkward hand gestures that way, and no one's gonna know what's up. Um, they live, like, 10, 20 minutes away, like, walking distance, and, um, so at 8, they like get out, and like 8.30, they're like, we should just go home. So they talk to the RA, and they're like, oh, it'll only be a couple more, like, hours. Like, not hours, like, they're like, oh, it'll only be like an hour, an hour and a half, or whatever. So they're like, okay, we'll stay, because I have a paper to do, and all my crap's upstairs anyway. And, uh, yeah, six and a half hours later. Math. Not, whatever. Yeah, so that was my night last night. It was fun. So I went to bed at 4, got up at, like, 8.30. And I'm still going. I am not taking a nap today. I am awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Her candles smell awesome. If you get that reference, you're my new favorite person. Yeah. Ashton Kutcher. I know. Weird, right? Okay, I'm gonna go, because this seems obnoxiously long. Have a fantastic day, and if your dorm room ever floods. Or, or if you come here 
and you were in this friggin' building. Get the F out. It's a terrible building. It smells like, besides what's going on right now, it smells like musty basement constantly, no matter which floor you're on. You don't even have to be on ground level or the upstairs where the washers are. It smells everywhere. That, there's too many freaking people. And when, oh, the elevators are jacked up. Also, one elevator is broken at least once a week. <laughs> and, um, when stuff happens, stuff happens. Yeah. Obvious. Obviousness. Okay, we're gonna go. Yeah. Bye!